Hello, dear students at Rama Vocal Center. Um, we talked about that there are two things we want to share with all of you guys in terms of distance learning through Zoom. The first thing is that if you hold down the space key, then you will be unmuted when you hold it down. Let's see if it works. Hi, Jim. This is Diveka talking to you from Norway. Great. So I think this is good when you are a big choir, for example, that put all of them on mute and then explain to them that you can actually hold down this one when you want to talk and then you are muted. Another thing is to use the breakout rooms. And breakout rooms is something that you can find if you go to the advanced settings here. This window. You go to view more settings and then find during your own login, whatever that is, you scroll down these many options here for if you want to start meetings with host video on and so on and so on. You scroll down until you find this one in meeting advanced where it says breakout room, turn it on because then you have the option down here to, for example, facilitate that I want sopranos, altos, tenors, basses to go into separate rooms for some minutes to talk about something. And then I, as a conductor, can go and visit the different breakout rooms and, and check out their solutions. So let me show how you do it. You push here and then right now I have only one breakout room. So I could say, okay, team one, that works. I would like to have another one. So for example, team two or alto or whatever. And then I want to sign the members in the meeting. So for example, for team one, I put Anna and Noah. Okay. For team two, Divike and Lydia. And you can see I can exchange and move people around if I want Anna to be on team two, if I made a mistake or anything. But so, dear members of this uh, video tutorial, are you ready to go to the breakout room and then talk about your experience about distance learning? And then I will come back to you and then we meet again in some minutes to discuss the results. Okay, see you in a minute. So what's happening now is that they will one by one get a message that uh, you are invited to this breakout room. Would you accept that? And then they said, yes, I want to go there. So now I can join them. For example, team one. I can say, yes, I want to join it now. Yeah, definitely. So hello, team one. How are you doing here? Hello, Jim. I hope you're having a good discussion. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> so I go back to the main session window because maybe there would be people still here to also discuss. But now I want actually to say hello to team two. Yeah. Yes. Um, hello here. Hi. Jim. Sorry to disturb you. How's it going with team two? We're good. It's going well. <laughs> yeah. Diveke was just explaining and sharing her experience with the uh, uh, full day classes through Zoom. Cool. Uh, we couldn't meet in Olberg uh, last weekend, so we did a full campus via Zoom, and I think that worked out well for all classes. And uh, like I was just saying to Lydia, who just said to me that some things <laughs> actually worked better, I said the only thing I missed is uh, the experience of singing together, because that's still kind of hard because of different bandwidths and stuff yeah. in people's houses. But apart from that, it works. 
yeah and especially for singing together i think also having your own instrument while you're following the rehearsal is actually ensuring that you are completely 100 percent uh sure about what you're doing even more maybe than when you are in the room so it's right it's worth to try yeah Cool. So uh, I will invite you back to the big group in um, within 60 seconds or something. See you. Yes. So individually in, this, in these teams, they can discuss stuff. And then I will now decide to close all rooms. And you see, they will close within 60 seconds. So they can decide to just leave or uh, come back already now. Yes. And we are back. Thank you for joining this tutorial video about how to mute and unmute yourself and also the breakout rooms. Bye bye.